Hi, my name is Claire Dillon, and I am delighted to be with you here today for the Inner Source Commons Fall Summit 2020, speaking to you from Dublin, Ireland. I first learned about the concept of Inner Source round about 18 months ago um, when I visited the eighth Inner Source Commons Summit in Galway in the West of Ireland. And since learning more about InnerSource and the InnerSource Commons community, I have become convinced that InnerSource is, in fact, the best way to develop software in the world. Um, and as such, I joined the community and have been working with them since then. Now, many of you will be familiar with a lot of the work that the community does and um, some of the great work that's happening in the patterns community and in the learning path community. And that's all about creating um, assets and learning assets to help the community and help people on their journey to inner source. But around about spring of this year, we decided to create another working group, the marketing and outreach working group, in order to help us spread the word about inner source to the broader ecosystem and beyond the boundaries of our community. Um, not only spread the word about inner source to hopefully uh, gain more adoption of inner source, but actually also spread the word about inner source commons community because it's such a great place to be and hang out. Um, but that work um, has involved creating some of our communication channels. Uh, so for example, our inner source org Twitter handle. Um, we've also been active on LinkedIn and the LinkedIn group there um, and publishing our content on places like YouTube, uh, where we've had nearly 1500 hits, I think, to the um, content from the last summit, which has been really, really great. But as part of that work, uh, we have been looking at the reasons why people choose to move towards inner source. Um, and why exactly the world needs more inner sorcerers. Um, so today I'm here to share some of those reasons with you. Uh, so you can help bring the good news about inner source uh, back out to the ecosystem so we can get more people using inner source. And I suppose the first reason why people have come on the inner source journey is related to open source. And you heard the origin story from Tim and Denise uh, yesterday morning and really a lot of the organizations who first came to InnerSource did it in order to be better prepared to work in the open source world. Um, and that was a fantastic reason. More recently, we've actually heard stories of individuals who have done it the other way around, where they have been in the open source world and loved working in that way and therefore have brought those practices back into their organization. But whichever way it works, the relationship between inner source and open source is very strong and a lot of organizations go on their inner source journey because of that relationship. But it's not the only reason that people choose to use inner source. Another emerging reason is just purely for the collaboration that it enables across an organization. The fact that it can help break down silos and create a transparency where you can see what's happening across an organization. And being able to see what's happening and creating that transparency increases code reuse um, and stops duplicate efforts happening across the organization. And of course, that transparency is not just important in terms of the code basis, but also in terms of the documentation that's created and even just being able to see what other teams are doing. Um, and that has become incredibly important, particularly in today's world, where more and more people are working remotely in distributed teams. And of course, with inner source, um, these practices make it very easy for people to work asynchronously um, and to collaborate no matter what time zone you may be working in. And related to that um, is the idea that inner source actually increases code quality. And not just because you get code reuse, but also um, because it actually reduces the number of escalations that happen within the development process and also reduces the number of disruptions that happen within the development cycle. So for all those reasons, development is speeded up um, and you get your innovation faster with better quality results. Again, related to that is the fact that organizations are often looking at InnerSource because it builds up the kinds of skills that are really required for the future world of work. So whether it be around collaboration or community development, or even perhaps conflict resolution, all of these skills are really evident among the practitioners of both inner source and open source. And it is in the building up of these skills that organizations find that they create much more productive and happy developers. And speaking of happy, it's one of our favorite reasons, but many developers choose to go on an open source journey just because it's 
the way they love to work and it makes for happier developers. So the idea of inner source is that you get agency as a developer to be able to do what you need to do to get the job done. And that makes people more productive and generally happy in their work. Um, personally speaking, I'm not a developer by background, uh, though I have been working in developer relations for most of my career. Um, but I do find that the idea of working within inner source does mean that you actually um, can open up the development process to more people. I found myself in the last year um, getting my own GitHub account, participating at project boards. I created my first PR earlier this year. I was doing conflict merges last week. And I really do think that um, inner source practices have, have the potential to open up the development processes to a wider set of people. Um, and by doing so, they actually can get more people with skin in the game and get more people caring about the great results uh, of the end development practice. So inner source, and why you want to have more inner sorcerers. Just to recap, um, there are lots of reasons, but some of the stories we have heard are that you want to make things, you want to go on a path to open source, or in fact, bring open source practices within your organization. That's a really good reason to go to inner source. You may want to um, break down barriers, increase collaboration across your organization. Another amazing reason. You may just want better code quality. You may want to reduce the number of disruptions to your development cycle. Another fantastic reason why you would go to inner source. You may just want to create next generation skills for your development organization. Again, a fantastic reason to go to inner source. Or maybe it's just because you want to be happy and you want your team and your developers to be happy. Again, another amazing reason to go to inner source. So these are all fantastic reasons, um, but I will say that they have been gathered throughout our years of working in the inner source community from the various different participating organizations and individuals. Uh, but up until now, we haven't, or at least not recently, we haven't had much uh, statistical data around why it is that organizations go to their inner source journey. So I'm very pleased to say that that's going to be one of our next projects within the marketing and outreach working group is to uh, look at building a survey where we can actually find out a little bit more about the reasoning behind uh, why people choose to move to inner source and also behind their practices and learn a little bit more about how that's working in within organizations. So that work is being spearheaded uh, by uh, Dr. Klaus Jan Stahl and Tabajet Day from the Lero uh, Science Research Unit in Ireland. And we really look forward to bring that to you soon. And we do hope that you will help us by participating in that survey and getting great data in so we can actually share that with the community. So without further ado, I'll just say the world absolutely needs more inner sorcerers for all the reasons we have mentioned um, here today. But the great thing about inner source is that you are never alone. And we here in the inner source commons community um, are here to help you on your inner source journey. And if you are interested in helping spread the word about inner source, either in the broader ecosystem or even even within your organization itself then we would love to hear from you within the marketing working group um, and we look forward to hopefully seeing you um, after the summit uh, for the next part of our journey thank you very much bye